Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt Hey, uh, Ian here. Just want to let you know. He means giving it, not getting it. Okay, thanks. Back to the song. It's a wild ride when you're being Ian, being Ian. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life. Being Ian, being Ian. With Jordan. I'm for dancing. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first episode in the... It's getting me a little high. Feels good. Oh, man. What if we could drink, Ian? Jesus, George. Sorry. You're right. (laughs) Let's just keep it rolling. Turn it off. Okay. Well, I gotta do my my. Yo, fade. can I ask you something? Ready, ready. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first episode first. of Being Ian with Jordan in the studio. Pew pew. What? Do, how do people do it? What do people do? Ear, ear. No, no. Yeah. Ear, ear. Ow. No. Ow, ow. There you go. No, they go. Bam, bam, bam. That's what they do. Oh, it's so annoying. Bam, bam, bam. I yeah. Hate it. But what I don't hate is the studio. I want to do a thing where okay, the theme song just played. Shout out Lumineers, thanks. But this is a cool like that plays, and oh then my you God. got the music playing and it fades in. Hey, what's up? And oh, what do you want to go back old school the way it was upstairs and start out like this? Listen. The music is going to fade in, and then it's going to be us talking. The music isn't going to fade in to just a different song. Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it is. No. And it has, because this already came out. And All right. Make the you'll move. see how stupid it sounds when it's like, being right. I, I don't even know the song, and then it'll go to the, another song. Because it's us like, All right, hey, fine. I don't fun. care. And then, you don't care? <laughs> no, I don't have a say. So Yeah, you this do. This smells really <laughs> toxic. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What'd you put on there? Did you put rubbing alcohol? <gasps> oh, wow. It's getting it's hard to stop Jordan's sniffing it. going to relapse on oh, a microphone hanitizer spray. She's going to miss her spots oh. because she's going to be huffing hanitizer spray in my basement. I would love to miss my spots. It's so fucking hot. I know. It's so hot. out. I'm so sick of talking about the breakup on stage. You know, I've been t- talking about just being really angry on stage, and that's been helping a lot. Mm-hmm. About yeah, when I have a meltdown, that really helps. Yeah, the meltdowns really help. Yeah. You had a great meltdown the other night at Hilarities. It was so funny. Oh, thanks. When you were like, Ian was like, oh, kids shouldn't be able to transition before the age of this and that. But at the same time, I'm like, who cares? And I get I get that I'm a hypocrite. Sure, sure. I'm a hypocrite. But you know what? I think I have it figured out. You can't transition. If you believe in Santa Claus, yeah, that's it. It was like, <laughs> everybody was like, oh, okay, all right. They were on board, you know? So what if I'm a hypocrite? I might be a hypocrite. Well, we just were in hilarities. I, you're going to smoke in here? You're not going to smell it. Can I, is it going to go out a window? Okay. Yes, I have a window. Dude, I don't want to be the girl who smells like cigarettes. You're not going to smell like cigarettes. And also it's better than the girl that stinks like cow shit, which everyone already knows before, so... Because you grew up in Ithaca. Um, here's the thing. I'm trying New to do studio. a joke about growing up in a barn, but we didn't have any animals. I say I grew up in a farm, but we didn't have animals. Oh, you did that the other night. That was really funny. Is that funny? Yeah, because wait, you grew up in a barn. So I tell people I grew up on a farm, but really there was yes, no animals. because growing up in a barn makes you sound... People ask questions. Yeah, like yeah. you're some podunk moron. Yeah, 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 totally. That's great. I really laughed at that. Okay, that was cool. very funny. All right. Yes. Now, we're here in the studio, and uh, I'm really excited. This is the first time... You still have, like, tears in your we're eyes. We're recording <laughs> in... The, tears of joy. Shut the fuck up, Jordan. <laughs> we're recording in the studio. I converted my basement to the studio, and I'm just so happy. How 
cool is this, huh? I've had a lot of time on my hands. So I did some things. I did some DIY projects. I changed some things around in my life. Yeah. Uh, some things have changed. Yeah. And it's, I mean, how cool is it? I made pasta. We just had a record playing. Look at this Marlboro clock. I mean, you're excited, right? <laughs> It's really pissing me off that you're not more excited. I'm really excited. I just have been down here a bunch. I hung that TV off level. It's off level and we need to lower it. I think it's good where it is. I think you're biased because you did it. But it's good for a podcast if we ever have to pan to it. Everyone that's been pan to it with what camera? We're not going to be able to pan to it. There are those cameras back here. Well, maybe someday there will be. Everyone that's been down here has said, that's a high TV. Really? (laughs) Yes. Shit. Yes. It can't get, it can't swivel down. No, you got to take it out of the wall. All right, right we'll take it out of the wall. God yeah. damn it. But I appreciate the effort. It was great. Is that filter making too much noise? No? Great. This is perfect. What filter? It's an air filter, air purifier. Oh, my dad installed one of those yep. so he could smoke and keep his girlfriends around. Well, there you go. They all left him, and he died. <sighs> no, no, no. He had a wife when he died. I think she might have killed him, actually. What? <laughs> we don't... Dude... Wait, what? Well, me and dad built a house together, and then he died. She kept the house, sold it, and then immediately moved to Georgia. And one of her ex-husbands from before my dad was also dead. And when I went up to her room, I saw Jack, my dad, next to Paul, her other ex-husband, and two urns labeled the same. No way. Way. Dude, this is an episode of Forensic Files. Right? Which... Makes sense as to why you hated that show, because under subconscious, you knew that your family was inspiration for the forensic files. She might have killed... The next day we came over there, all the stuff was sold. All the tools that I could have used when I was a contractor, sold. Everything sold. Shut the fuck up. The house we built together, sold. Are you serious? Right out. And he wrote in the will, like, when Micah dies, Jordan and Jamie get this house, and then she just sold it before, obviously, she died. What year was this? Have you ever had this investigated? No. Oh, yeah, because they said, Jordan, do you want to get an autopsy on your father? And I said no. So it's my fault. Why would you say no? How did he die? Because when your dad dies, the last thing you want is to imagine him being sliced open. Well, that's why you got to be young when they die, so <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I was, win. <laughs> yeah, you do win. How old were you? 23. Eight. Um, <laughs> nice. Wait, why'd they ask you and not anyone else? My sister, too, but we were both just, like, all too shook, you know? So we were like, no, don't cut him open. We know he was unhealthy. He smoked two packs a day. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But he died in his sleep. Really? Yep. And you don't know how? I mean, he had a heart attack when he was 43. He would, seemed, but he did, uh, he also laid an entire, like, foundation that day. So we just thought it was just, you know, like a heart attack in his sleep or... What if it was murder? Um, antifreeze. It could have been antifreeze. Have Easy. you talked to that woman since? I ran into her when I was on mushrooms once. It was a nightmare. <laughs> At a fucking, what's that famous barbecue place called? Famous Dave's? No, they have them upstate oh. and here. Mabel's. No. What's a famous barbecue place? Dinosaur barbecue. Dinosaur barbecue. That's not famous. Well, it's famous if you live upstate. <laughs> if you're in the Finger Lakes area, it's really famous. It's like Darien Lake. <laughs> you know? So if you're out there in the Finger Lakes area, you can retrace the steps of my murderous stepmother. Yeah. I ran into her on mushrooms. It was fucked what up. Happened? I asked her for money when I went to grad school because she got like $400,000 for selling the house me and my dad built together. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I could just have like a grand, it would really help me go to grad school. And she said no. Oh, Jordan, that's brutal. I know. Crazy. My buddy went to the place where she sold all the tools and bought some of them back and gave them to me. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Yeah. But sad. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Really sad. Well, I'm not too sentimental about stuff. I don't really like stuff that much. So it's almost. Yeah, either do I. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pack rat. All that's in my room is band tees that you've given me. That's really it. I got a couple. Oh, this is a band tee. This is Bad Time Records from What else do I have in my room? California. Hold on. You and your dad built a home together? Mm-hmm. How, how long did that take? 
four years. Oh my god, just you and him. Yeah, he would work on it, and then I would come home for summers and keep That's working like on so it. So touching. Yeah, it's That's awesome. Incredible. It's a great house. Giant circle windows. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. When was All these this? secrets in it that we put in. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, things that we hid in the walls. No. Yeah. Totally. Oh, Jordan, that's so nice. I know, but it's not. It's not ours anymore. And and he left us the barn, so now we just have this dilapidated piece of shit barn that we have these horrible Section Eight tenants in. Oh but God. I went over the pandemic and remodeled some of that so that we could have more rich people in there. But we're gonna sell it, get a lake house, be done with Catfish Farm. That it's called Catfish Farm. Oh, that's so cool. Mm-hmm. Do you think that guy would go fishing there? That yes. It's a lamp. No, there's no fish there. There's nothing there. That's why it's so creepy. There's no catfish? There's no catfish. There's no animals. <laughs> uh. We had horses for a bit, but it's so too wait, poor. How, you think that she killed him to get the money? And we, you guys never investigated. You were just like, hey, shit happens this way. We only thought about it. We, when he died, we were like, oh, we'll probably get some of the money from the house. We'll probably get the house. We didn't realize. And then when everything was sold immediately, the autopsy was not was denied. It was all said and done. And we were both just like, wait a minute. Did she kill him? When I saw the urns next to each other, that's when I was like, oh, shit. Dude, would you ever exhume his body? He's ashes. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Hit the road, Jack. That's right. <laughs> You're not coming back. He's not coming no back. More, no more, no more, no more. Dude, I have his ashes. There's like bone ch- shards in them. You know that? Yeah. Isn't that weird? I took out my dad's bone ass shard and you showed a... it to my mom in front of my stepdad to make him feel bad. Nice. <laughs> There's too much. Yeah, it's a lot. They need to just throw a bunch away and give you a little urn of it. There's a lot of human. A lot. You ever get a dog cremated? It's like chunky. Why did you get a bones. dog? She, my mom got a dog cremated. Because we k- killed the dog. or the What? <laughs> put the dog down, and you get him cremated, and then you mix all the ashes together so you can be a family in the afterlife. Who'd you mix together? My dad and the dog. <gasps> the dog you mixed your dad and the dog and yeah, the grandfather? Yeah, splashed a little in there. Whoa. So they could be together. They're not together. It's bone shard. My dad wants his ashes spread in all these crazy places, but like I haven't... What? Like Jamaica and all the, we're not doing a Patreon where we spread my dad's ashes. We you are, are, you are doing a Patreon where we spread your dad's ashes across the globe. Oh my God, that's the goal. At 700 I patrons, we're going to Jamaica. I can't believe that I knew exactly what you were thinking. We're going to Jamaica. You're so sick. We're going to spray some ashes around. Spray them. S- throw them around. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> we need to drop off the ashes, man. <laughs> Jordan, where do you want them? Right near the beach? <laughs> we make pasta. Oh, God, it's windy. <laughs> oh, no, it's windy. They're flying everywhere. <laughs> All right, we'll raise money to go to Jamaica. <laughs> yes. Mm. That would be amazing. Oh, my God. And then we'll send all the Patreon subscribers. Oh, I dropped the urn. They're everywhere. (laughs) No. My sister tried to release them into the lake, and they just kept sinking. The whole jug? Into these little boats. She put a bunch of ashes in these little boats and tried to set them off. Fucking Viking funeral? Yeah, she was trying to do a mini Viking thing because he, like, wanted a Viking funeral. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, they kept sinking, and she was crying. I was laughing. It was so funny. The ashes were just dropping immediately to the bottom of the lake. Like, they were not going anywhere. It was so funny. It was chaos. (laughs) We were trying to light them on fire, but they were wet, obviously, so they wouldn't light on fire. And she was freaking out. It was so funny. She got these, like, expensive little crafty canoes. Ugh. (laughs) Just a wreck. Your family. (laughs) Just classic me and Jamie. Jamie just being type A personality and just being like, set them on fire! Like he would have... And I was like, dude, they are sinking immediately. They literally have rocks in them of dad's bones. (laughs) And I was, like, hysterically laughing. She was like, stop it! Stop! And I got out, and my body was entirely covered with a thin layer of ash. <laughs> I was like smoking a cigarette in the lake, trying to light these things. It was so, 
<laughs> that was bad. Your family needs to be studied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An anthropology, an anth, by a historian. <laughs> yeah, by <laughs> anthropologist. Anthropologist. Yes. Well, when my grandfather died, we were putting things with his body to get him cremated with, and I like left like a note and my mom left a picture and I swear to God my <laughs> grandma came out of her room holding a fucking portrait like a piece of drywall and my aunt was like Ma he's getting cremated you're not starting a bonfire what the fuck are you doing she's like I just have to get rid of this and then my uncle said I'll never forget what my uncle said my uncle said what'd you do with this pain medicine oh my god yeah. we're, we're some trash we're white trash woo yeah. Wow. Yeah, all of his weed. He had pounds and pounds of weed that they gave to this guy named Gideon. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed. I was like, yo, where's the pounds of weed he had in his desk? And she was like, I gave it to Gideon. And I saw Gideon at the funeral, and I was like, fuck you. And he was like... <laughs> I found so much Viagra. I had to, before the funeral, take these restraints he had around his bed for sex, sex restraints off. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, it was crazy. So much shit in his house. I, had to, I was just stuffing Viagra into my bra before guests showed up. <laughs> I wasn't hiding any of the weed. I was just hiding the, I don't know why. I was like, they better, I don't want anybody to think my dad's dick doesn't get hard. <laughs> I think he'd be happy about it. <laughs> I also had this like pig roast when at his funeral, <laughs> and this this farmer who was like obsessed with me had this farm of pigs. <laughs> he was this creep, and I was like, kind of. I didn't like tell him I'd fuck him if he gave me a free pig, but I kind of like was like, my dad just died, and you know we'd love to have a pig. And he brought this pig, and he like took his shirt off the whole time of this funeral, and was just this like. <laughs> Glossy. Glossy. A man showed up to your dad's funeral shirtless with a pig? This is your life? What the fuck? So I've got Gideon's wearing a straw hat smoking weed. You're sobbing and Viagra's are popping out of your titties. I wasn't Meanwhile, sobbing. your stepmom's was... hiding murder weapons around the funeral home. <laughs> Getting them to fucking sign a will like Weekend at Bernie in the place in the coffin. But the whole time, the whole time this pig was on fire, which was so weird. It was a catfish farm because you guys were tricked into thinking it was normal. And you got catfish. And the farmer was trying to fuck me the whole time. And I was like, dude, my dad is dead. Please chill out. And he stayed till the end of the funeral until one of my buddies had to be like, she's not going to fuck you. You have to leave. I brought the pig for nothing. But also, you don't want a pig on fire when you're like mourning a dead body. It just uh, smelled like burning flesh. Come on, Bessie. I ain't getting no pussy tonight. And we had way too much. We had all this pork. But nobody wants... I didn't have any sides. So it was just endless amounts of pork. And this huge dead pig, and you don't realize how disturbing, just like a giant dead pig is, if you're at a funeral, and you feel like you're mourning the pig, but then you're also eating it. I don't even... I don't, I don't even think I brought sauce. salt or anything. <laughs> Why did he take his shirt off? Why did he? Why are you caring about sauce? I didn't bring any sauce. 
So you're just eating, you're just eating smoked pork with nothing on it. What? At a pig's funeral. It was a pig's funeral. My stomach hurts so bad. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was so crazy. Oh my god, and there was this one guy, Ziffy. <laughs> <laughs> He was this old guy, and he had—he was my dad's weed dealer, and he had a boner the whole time. <laughs> he, we keep—he kept—he kept talking me and my sister. And at the end of the night, we were like, "Did you feel?" And she was like, "As if he's hard cock." And I was like, Ziffy and the big farmer just <laughs> the big farmer shirtless wrestling over this dead man's young daughters. <laughs> Winner gets her beaver and the loser eats the pig. <laughs> I don't know why he had his shirt off. I can't believe it. All the women were looking at the farmer. He was so hot. Where was oh the Oh, my pig? God. The pig, was, the, pig was, the pig was on the farm. The pig was on the farm. You don't realize how crazy it is to just have a full pig on fire. It's not. It's really grim. It's like a grim thing to watch. I just thought it would be nice. I don't think anybody ate it. It was so hillbilly there. One of my cousins, like at my dad's wedding had like try and hooked up with my sister and she was really was still mad about it and he was there and it was there was all this weird tension it was so freaky the whole thing was so and i had just started comedy so i was like wearing this like blazer and kept telling jokes no you didn't no you didn't i tell jokes all the time i was telling jokes all the time at the funeral, oh. the whole time, the whole time, people thought it was nuts. People thought it was nuts. I was really, oh god, oh. Why'd you wear a blazer? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd been wearing it on stage a lot. I don't know why I was wearing it. I looked like a real estate agent. I used to wear it all the time. Oh my god, oh. And somebody gave me this letter that my dad wrote to his gay brother that was like, hey, I know you're gay. You don't have to keep it a secret anymore. And then at the end, my dad writes, but he goes, oh, by the way, sorry if you're not gay. <laughs> and somebody gave me that at the funeral and I had it in my pocket and I would always do stand up and pull it out and almost read it on stage. <laughs> sorry if you're not gay, but you got to lay off the seer suckers, dude. <laughs> Chill out on the on the salmon pink shirts. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> the only one in your family with hygiene? And your death yeah, yeah, family. yeah. It was, it was such a heartfelt letter. Just I love you so much. You don't have to keep it a secret. And in the end, just like oh, just disregard if you're not gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, how was your dad's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> Mine was pretty run of the mill. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Okay, we have to breathe. We have to breathe. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> 
try not to think about it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it was just smoke in people's eyes. <laughs> Big with no sauce. There was so much smoke in our eyes. And it smelled like roasting flesh. You really don't think about that. Oh, it was such a horrible idea. I didn't have any coleslaw or anything. <laughs> Just, who could eat so much just pork? Oh. That guy hung around until it was dark, too. Oh. We really had to force him off the farm. I don't know what he thought was going to happen. Oh. oh. I guess I am a hick, huh? <laughs> I don't really think about it, but then I think about it, and I guess I'm a bit of a hillbilly. <laughs> my cousin's trying to fuck my sister. Oh, What's God. The rest of the town, Mike? Oh, my God. Well, it's Friday. You gotta get on down to the Big Rose Funeral Young Girl oh, Party. It's Lansing. It's like the most hick part of upstate New York. It's brutal. Oh, my oh. God. Were these the people who would wear, like, camo to weddings? <laughs> they were, like, there were rugby dudes, old rugby dudes, and then there were old contractors who, like, had no teeth and were on a little bit of meth. And then there were, like, hippies who had, like, jean vests on and, like, big spliffs and are like, Jack, would love want us to all pass around this spliff? You know, it was like that. It was a, It was all that. I love how you just had the realization that you were a yeah. hillbilly yeah. fucking redneck. <laughs> well, somebody, that g dude that just broke up with me called me a hillbilly when I told him I fucked my stepbrother. And I was like, I'm not a hillbilly. My moms are gay. But I guess I guess there's some crossover between granola and pig, pig roast. <laughs> there's a little bit of a Venn diagram there that I fall inside of. <laughs> but, you know. I'm pretty hungry. Where are those sandwiches at? <laughs> <laughs> it just, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I thought the rugby guys would eat all this pork, but you don't eat that much at funerals. You don't go crazy. I thought it'd be like a party or something, but oh, it was so funny. Man, as if you just had a boner the whole time, it was crazy. <laughs> Why did he have that? He kept rubbing it against my dad's widow. It was crazy. <laughs> she was shit faced. She was so drunk. My mom, who my dad hated, gave this like 15 minute long speech about my dad. Oh. What did it say? Just roasted him. She just roasted his ass. Like a pig in a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, uh, it was a good time. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really crazy at the end when my buddies had to go up to that pig farmer and be like, it's dark out. The family is all that remains. You have to leave. <laughs> he was so surprised. I, really, I think he really did think it was a trade. <laughs> I got a free pig out of it, though. Tell you what. Uh, what kind of fucking upstate backwoods dowry is that? I don't know. <laughs> he was pretty hot, though. He's a hot farmer. Dumb as a rock, though, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, we hooked up at a music festival, and he flipped his truck when he the was pig leaving. The farmer? Yeah. You ended up hooking up with him. No, this was before. We didn't fuck. We just hooked up. But then he flipped his truck when he was leaving the festival and he calls me and he goes what are we gonna do and i was like we i was like i don't even know you dude and i hung up <laughs> but he still gave me that pig <laughs> he flipped his whole truck over it was crazy what are we gonna do lunacy
Oh, I feel crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an acid trip. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and you weren't telling facts about your life. You were just saying the first thing that popped yeah. into your head. It's all true. It's so fucked up that all of that's true. <laughs> we have to make enough money on Patreon to meet Ziffy. <laughs> oh, Ziffy. He's probably dead now. And the pig farmer. And go back to Ithaca. Dude, not to Ithaca, to Lansing. Ithaca is the Ithaca's the lesbian oh. hub, then Lansing is the redneck. I mean, that's where you kids oh fuck cats, God. you know what I mean? I'm so sweaty. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <You know? laughs> Do you remember your dad's funeral? Cops had to come. Did they really? Yeah. What? Fights. There were fights? We'll get into it another time. Okay. I'm not going to top your fucking <laughs> pig roast fucking <laughs> hick viking <laughs> funeral. It just happened. Are you kidding me? What kind of a fool am I? <laughs> yeah. I guess it was just a normal funeral. No shirtless guy with a pig tried to fuck me. He really was trying to get it. It was crazy. It was so crazy following me around. And I'd be like, go take 10 to the pig, dude. <laughs> Don't you got to flip the pig? Oh, oh my God. <sighs> I don't think I ate one bite of that pig. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do with it after? Did we bury it? Yeah. <laughs> Did we make him leave it? He left it. I think he left the pig. I think he left in a huff. <laughs> uh, yep. <clears throat> All right, man. There's nothing else we can say. <laughs> Is that the pod? I think so. How, How long have we been recording? 33. Whatever. Should we call it? Yeah, I mean, you gotta go. And what time is it? Do I have to go? It's six seventeen. What time do you have to leave? The show starts at seven. Where? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this gay show, dude. I, oh my god! I mean, that's a doozy to start out in the studio, yeah. huh? <clears throat> I mean, what if? What an amazing thing to learn. <laughs> yeah, I never talk about it on stage. I guess I should. I mean. I love How it. do you even begin? How do you even how begin? How do you even begin? You know? <clears throat> I think how you do begin is you sniff microphone sanitizer yeah. and just yeah. let the I words roll out of your head. Loopy as hell, dog. <laughs> I feel fucking crazy. It's on Orchard Street. It's on Orchard Street. How far is that? I just take the J to Delancey. You'll be fine. Um, oh. Holy shit. Well, dude, we are going to get money on the Patreon. Spread your dad's ashes, rest in peace, in Jamaica. Yeah. And where else are you supposed to spread the ashes? He wanted Jamaica. Where else? I don't remember. In the is Atlantic. Like some dirt road with a puddle. Yeah, somewhere? there is. There's <laughs> a dirt road. There's a place called Pond Mitchell. We have to go back there. Where we is used that? To, I, don't, I don't know. I can't remember, but he used to take us there every summer. It was pretty fun. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. my It wasn't my dad's wish to be spread... He didn't have a will. He was so young when he died. that, And it was like such a tragic accident that there was like no planning. But he's just been sitting in an urn in my house in Delaware. Maybe that would be a nice cleansing thing to take his ashes to places he loved and spread them there. Yeah. We could go to Bellevue State Park. How many ashes do you have? Do you have the big box? No, we have a big urn with a dogwood tree on it because that was his favorite tree. Um, so... Yeah, maybe that would be nice. Spread his a his ashes around somewhere. Yeah. Where could we go? I sent some with my friend who is an Oscan Fisher woman to set some. I'm literally just pawning them off on people who are going to the ocean. Oh, wow. We Whoa, could, hell, we this? could go to Jacob Reese. No. Oh, that's great. Is that it? Wait, scroll down. Moose River Road. I used oh, to live shit. off a place called River Road. Wow. Shit, maybe that is it. Is that it? That'd be crazy. Let's go. Is this going to show up on the podcast when we're on? Picture my dad just shows it up. It should. 
Show them. Wow. Let's go to Mitchell Pond River. Yeah. What's it called? Mitchell Goose Pond. What? Pond Mitchell. Pond Mitchell. Wow. And where's that? There it is. Wow. Wow. That's nice. Yeah, I'd like to do it at uh, Bellevue State Park in Delaware. That's a place we used to go. Oh, and at Rehoboth Beach. We used to go down there every year. We'd have Guys Weekend at the beach. And uh, we would go down. My mom wasn't allowed to go. It, we would get like a hotel or we'd stay in my granny's trailer. And uh, we would just go down like a Saturday, Sunday. And one time we went down and my mom would always joke like, don't check out any babes while you're down there, you know. And so on the way back, we were in their Volvo. It was me and my dad. And somehow we found like lipstick in the glove box. And I put lipstick on, and he put it on, and we started kissing ourselves and, like, rubbing lipstick. And we walked in the house, and I go, Mom, we couldn't keep the babes off us. Oh. And my mom was, like, painting inside the house. She fell off the ladder, like, laughing so hard. Like, it was just so fun. It was oh, my nice God, that's memory. so cute. Yeah. yeah, and we used to wake up every last day to watch the sunrise uh, right in front of Dolly's um, candy stand. And... Uh, I, I went back for the very first time since I did that with him this past August or September when Olivia and I went to the beach and I woke up early. I sat in the same spot and I watched the sunrise over the ocean. I had this like transformative. It truly felt like I was on like acid. Really? Like it felt like I was on mushrooms. I have not felt that close to him or that in touch or like I, I just felt so bursting with like joy and love in like an accepting way that I'd never felt before. It was like, so I've never felt that close to him. Where and it, it kind of feels incredible. like you're like, I'm not, you're not like without him. I've had that feeling yeah. where you're like, oh shit, he's not gone. We are, he is here. It, dude, he's right here. It was, yeah. I mean, like I sat on that beach and I talked to him for the first time in forever. And it was the exact spot we used to go to. It was, I mean, the sunrise that day is, is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And, and he was with me. I firmly believe he was like right there with me and I was talking. It was incredible. It was amazing. And I went back and I <clears throat> told Olivia about it. And, you know, we, she was like so happy for me and everything. And I was like, you know, it would really mean a lot if, you know, you go with me tomorrow. And she's like, sure, of course, you know. So we stayed up super late and I woke up and she was very cranky. <laughs> and we... <laughs> Walking there, and I didn't look up. Will the will the sun? What time will the sun come up today? Oh so I was like eyeballing it and guessing. It was cloudy. It was not the same as the day before. Oh boy! I'm fran She's there in a sweatshirt with her arms crossed. I'm frantically googling. Can you see the sun when it's cloudy? Oh my <laughs> and god! I'm like, it's, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. Where is the sun? That's what she said. In Delaware. She, oh, she goes. She goes. Where is the sun? <laughs> oh my god! Like, it's coming. It's coming. It's beautiful. This is nice. This is nice. I'm like petting her. I tried to put on a song to make her happy. She goes. The music's loud. Turn it off. And I was like, oh, oh no! God. This is what you get for trying to recreate yeah, 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 it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the worst. Yeah. And then the sun finally came out, and it was like nice and we had this beautiful five second moment and then the sun went away again she was like i'm going back to bed i was like okay I oh my you god you woke her up at 5 a.m uh, and dragged her out yeah, to a place where yeah. you didn't know where it was oh uh, my god yeah. i thought that it would be another amazing experience yeah. that i wanted to share with her but i should have realized it was a singular experience that i how had with myself he, and how all. would she care she doesn't she's not gonna be like oh i feel your dad because i wanted to share that with her it was nice. Yeah, I know it wasn't a smart move. Yeah. I'm aware. Yeah. What can you do? This is where our mental illness comes into play with our codependency. We're like, I saw something. It doesn't mean anything unless somebody else witnesses it. See it. See me. Be my audience. Show me I exist. Do I matter? Look at it. I saw it, but who the fuck am I? I don't matter at all. You have to see it or else it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's <laughs> Give me meaning. Enough of the pod today. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same shit, dude. I'm Trying like, to recreate Can you feel him? Sunrise. Can you feel my dead dad <laughs> that you never dead met? father moment. <laughs> with this poor girl that's like, I'm just enjoying her vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You're totally right. <laughs> I do 
that shit all the time. It would be really meaningful if you had this experience with me that I had one time on my own that doesn't mean anything because you weren't there. <laughs> it's so fucked up. God bless her. Yeah. Man, that's a lot to put on Well, someone. what can she say? No? I didn't realize it until now. I brought multiple dudes Yikes. out to my dad's farm, and they're like, this really? is dilapidated and sad. And I'm like, just lay with me. <laughs> <laughs> just put your hand on this tree with me <laughs> do you feel it and they're like i'm ri- covered in poison ivy <laughs> and i have a syringe in my shoe <laughs> oh, is, is that a pig in the distance yep that's my dad he's saying hello <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Dude, oh yes the dumb. pig that wouldn't burn <laughs> oh the pig we buried. I think we had to bury this pig corpse. It's like so fucked up. I think my sister was like, Jordan, what the fuck are you going to do with this pig? Ugh. Brutal. Just really brutal. Oh, fuck. I sweat through my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go eat food. Yeah. Let's go eat some sandwiches. Cool. Uh, I love you, dude. Thank you so much. I love much. you. This is the first episode in the studio. Yeah. A Beanie and with Jordan. Are we releasing the other episode? Yeah. Yeah. This will come out after the first couple. Oh, okay, okay. First episode in the studio. Nice. <laughs>